And that's our show for you this evening. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Um, for those of you who uh, don't know us, we are Koine. How many of you have never seen Koine play live before? One person. <laughs> Only one of you brought a friend. <laughs> Let's go, people. Uh, no, that's all right. Welcome. Uh, I'd love to chat with you afterwards, and we'll... Chapsnat or whatever the, friend, the kids do these days. Snapchat? I got it wrong. Um, we, we have a very special show for you tonight that is called Cross Heart Rose Sky Ring. This is an album that we released back in 2017 in honor of the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. So with that in mind, uh, what we did to prepare is we locked ourselves in a room uh, for about two months. Every day we worked on this. And we went through every song that Luther wrote that was recorded in our uh, Christian worship Lutheran hymnal. That was not very much fun <laughs> for a while. It was actually quite excruciating at times uh, because, again, some of these songs, uh, all of these songs are 500 years old, right? And some of them are with a, a monastic style and this style that we just don't really use a lot anymore. So it was a bit of a challenge, and there were times where I had never even heard the song before. It was just frustrating and, and annoying, and, and we, I just, there's no way we're ever going to get anything to come out of this. But I'll tell you what, it, it was just an amazing progression of appreciation for the works of Martin Luther. The words of these songs are just so deep. And so to the point, and just, and now these, some of these songs are the ones that I go to when I, when I need that reminder, right? When I, when I want God's promises uh, to be shared with my head and my heart again, right? So tonight, it's going to be a little different in the sense that a lot of these songs, maybe you don't even know. Maybe they're going to be a little difficult for you to sing along with, and, and that's okay. Uh, but really focus on the message. And, and, and the beautiful melodies that he has, they are beautiful. They're just, just a little different. Take that in. You can obviously take a CD home with you tonight. That would help you uh, take those uh, and learn the songs better. But um, we'll, we'll have, the, we'll, the, we'll have the, the notation on the screen for you. So feel free to sing along anytime that you're comfortable. Um, many people know Luther as a scholar and a theologian, but... I don't think we always think of him as an artist. Luther was a brilliant man, and he cared, he cared much about the common people. And he recognized that God's gifts of music and art are a way to reach the common people. So tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to celebrate his music, but we're also going to look at the seal that he gave us. Uh, as a reminder of some of the essential parts of our faith, right? So tonight, uh, we're going to begin at the center of the seal, the center of his faith, his music, and his art, which is the cross. The black cross reminds us of our sin, which mortifies and causes pain in this life. But it does not destroy us. That black cross sits inside a red heart to remind us that we are alive by faith in the crucified one. From 
depths of woe I cry to you. Lord, hear me, I implore you. Bend down your gracious ear to me. My prayer, let come before you. If you kept record of my sin and held against me what I've been, how could I stand? The best and holiest deeds must fail to break sin's dread oppression. Before you, none can boasting stand, but all must fear your strength. That he is merciful and just This is my comfort and my trust His help I wait with patience I hope as Israel in the Lord 
sent redemption through his word. We praise him for his mercy. Luther wrote a beautiful version of our creed, our statement of faith, um, with this next song. This is a musical statement of faith in the triune God, firmly establishing for us the heart of our faith. We all believe in one true God.
The red heart sits inside a white rose, reminding us as believers of the joy and comfort and peace that faith brings. It's white because it's the color of the spirits and the angels. This faith is a gift from God, God the Holy Spirit. So tonight we're gonna celebrate this gift and implore the Holy Spirit to give us the courage and strength we need in this life to follow Christ. Our celebration is going to be a little different than maybe you normally do in a Lutheran church, okay? So it's okay if you move a little bit, and I actually want you to clap your hands with us, all right? So can we get a beat going for ourselves here? there's a little vocal part that I, it's kind of like happens in between the verses. So I'm going to teach you that first, and then you can sing that with us when we sing it, okay? It's very simple. It's just a woo-woo-woo. It goes like this. It's pretty simple, right? You just keep that going. I can't hear you. I hear them. Come on, sing along with us. All right, then get your hands going.
we'll sing this verse with our best beautiful Lutheran choral voices, okay? know what you're wondering or thinking about right now, and I can assure you that that is exactly how Martin Luther intended that song to be played. Yeah, we actually found this old script, uh, you know, a couple, yeah, a few hundred years old, and this is what he said he wanted to do, so you're welcome. We talk about peace um, and there is a peace that we have as Christians that transcends, you know, whatever's going on in the world. And we, we have this comfort and this hope that we know heaven is assured for us. And, and we know that the Lord has a plan and a purpose for everything. Yet, <laughs> then there's life, right? Right? And sometimes life just doesn't feel very peaceful. Sometimes it's really hard. Um, but God gives us this gift of prayer to go to him when we need that peace, that comfort, that hope again. And uh, I just think this, this song is such a beautiful way of doing that. So pray with us, would you? Grant peace, we pray in mercy, Lord.
The white rose sits inside a sky blue field, symbolizing for us that a joyful spirit and faith is just the beginning of a heavenly future joy, which begins now, but is grasped in hope, not yet fully revealed. All glory be to God alone for the promise of salvation through the gift of his one and only son.
thanksgiving feel we praise you god and you we bless we worship you You believe that song's 500 years old? Amen. <laughs> Amen. I guess Luther did know how to praise, huh? This future joy is a promise from God himself, by grace alone, God's undeserved love for us. But while we're still here, we pray for the Lord to guide and to keep us and to use us to his glory, to show the world around us what God's grace is all about. For our next song, we will journey through the Lord's Prayer. Now, for those of you who know how Luther wrote this song, you know that this won't be short because there are nine verses. But it's a great journey. Uh, it might be a little bit long, but uh, it, honestly, it's, a, it's just a tremendous journey through the words of the Lord's Prayer. And I think... I hope and pray that you'll hear the Lord's Prayer again for the first time today in a new and exciting way. The song is called Our Father Who From Heaven Above. But from our 
from blame Let no false doctrine us prevail All poor deluded souls convert
We don't have a, a whole lot left for you here today, but before we go, I want to make sure that we recognize a few guests that we have here with us today. So would, uh, would you join me in thanking, I'm going to say it's the Lequi girls, but there's a Bolden in there too. So we've got Clara, we've got Maddie, and we've got Kristen. One of them's a mom and the others are daughters, but I'm not going to tell you which one's which. Would you give it up for the Lequi girls and the Bolden? They've never done this show with us before, so this is their first time. It's awesome. I think they did a great job. Thank you to the sound and lights and the streaming crew uh, from KML. They always do a great job, and you guys are always such gracious hosts. Good job up there. It's like a whole team of people up there. It's great. And then a uh, special thanks to our sound guy, Mark Hartzell, who does a great job for us as well. Mark, thank you so much for being with us tonight. As I said, you can take the CD home with you tonight if you want. We have a number of other things there at the table as well. You've got CDs, T-shirts, sweatshirts, all kinds of stuff. You can get all your Christmas shopping done here tonight. You're welcome. Um, we're going we're gonna to go back to uh, kind of put a bow around everything that we've been talking about here. The cross, the heart, the rose, the sky. There's a ring around it all, a golden ring. 
It reminds us of the blessedness that we have in heaven. Luther said, heavenly blessedness is exquisite beyond all measure, better than gold or silver. Luther put together a song that looked at Isaiah's glimpse into heaven. We remember, that, we recall that, that section of scripture where Isaiah just peeks into the, to the heavenly gates there and gets to see the angels singing, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And the rafters are shaking and the place is going crazy because there's so much beautiful chaos and beautiful praise happening. And Luther tried to put that into a song and now we tried to put that into a little glimpse into heaven for you tonight. So we're going to leave you here with the uh, glimpse into heaven, Isaiah Mighty Seer in Days of Old.
bless you guys. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. Thank you. Thank you.